millions of years ago, dinosaur ruled the planet Earth. They dominated each time period they were in, becoming the kings of the animal kingdom. Then suddenly, one day, everything changed. An asteroid came from space and wiped out all the dinosaurs, causing them to go extinct. But just imagine if things were different. It's time to go back into the past about about 65 million years to see just what course evolution would have taken if dinosaurs still roamed Earth. How would they look today? Will we survive? How would their life change? Well, just imagine if dinosaurs never stopped evolving. But before we reimagine the course of evolutionary history, let's explore just what kind of catastrophic events could have led to the extinction of so many dinosaurs species in the first place. Going back about 66 million years ago, million years into the past, the Cretaceous period would be nearing its end. A big asteroid with a diameter of about 10 kilometers hurtled through space and our atmosphere to its final destination in the modern-day Mexico. The impact of the giant chunk of space rock released an amount of energy equivalent to about 100 trillion tons of TNTs. This explosion was billions of times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped by the US in World War II. In the immediate aftermath, it led to the massive tsunami and widespread fires and filled the atmosphere with so much dust that it blocked out the sun. Temperatures dropped, food chains were disrupted. As a result, 75% of life vanished from Earth. When you look back through the evolutionary history of the planet, it's important to remember that it's always been a game of survival and only the fittest species survive. That would mean that all of our dinosaur species that ever existed, not all of them would survive the millions of years of natural selection to still be around today. But let's see if a couple of most famous prehistoric creatures make it through. Starting at the top of the food chain, one of the greatest apex predators of all time, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Millions of years ago, a T-Rex would have used some of its highly sophisticated senses to hunt prey. These beasts likely had a range of vision similar to hawks and eagles. The signs suggested that they threw out the T-Rex evolution. Their sight improved as their facial structure became narrower and their eyes grew larger. After many more millions of years of evolution, well, their vision might have improved to unbelievable levels. Instead of spotting prey hundreds of meters away, they could see their next meal several kilometers in the distance. But what about other parts of their bodies? Well, beside their tiny arms, the T-Rex was a towering figure, standing just under 10 meters tall. Over time, natural selection might have been favored T-Rex with longer and more muscular arms. By now, they might have developed better agility and range of motion to become even more formidable predators, and they wouldn't be the only predators that may have become even more dominant over time. Velociraptors were famous for their speed, agility, and hunting techniques, and they were intelligent too. Maybe not as bright as movies like Jurassic Park make them seem, but certainly they had a leg up. Some of their dumber plant-eating prey, with millions of years of evolution, these creatures would have developed highly advanced hunting techniques. You know, another thing Hollywood doesn't show you is that evidence suggested that predators were likely covered in the feather and that their evolutionary trajectory is very closely linked to the emergence of birds. 
Imagine over time that these feisty predators evolved to have wings and could hunt helpless prey like humans from the skies. Velociraptors were smaller dinosaurs, only about 45 kg and less than 2 meters in the length. But keep an eye out of Rufus and Garfield and maybe on the smaller children too. Now in terms of dinosaurs that already dominated the skies, these aviation skills of pterodactyls would have also continued to develop and improve by the time they went extinct. These creatures were the largest non-flying animals with wingspans ranging from 2 to 11 meters. If they continued to adapt to our planet's changing atmosphere and geographical shifts, well, who's to say these gigantic flying reptiles would not have continued to grow? Just imagine a day in the park ruined by the surprise visit of one of more pterodactylists the size of a small building. Now that's something you would have to worry about. Not all dinosaurs would have evolved to bigger, better predators. Maybe gentle giants like Bronotaurus continued growing in size, but they might have developed other features to make them less vulnerable to predators. For example, their skin. Natural selection might have favored those with increasingly thicker outer layers that could withstand the powerful bite of creatures like T-Rex or whatever it is that the T-Rex would be known as now. Like the other species, there would be so many enormous environmental changes between their eras and now. The Bronotaurus were a herbivore, and as plant species underwent their own evolutionary process, well, these dinosaurs would likely have to develop a more complex digestive system similar to those mammals. And this brings up another interesting dilemma. If these creatures never went extinct and kept evolving, uninterrupted by a space rock, would mammals like you be here today? Our earliest human ancestor evolved among creatures like mammoths and saber to tigers. But now that we are adding in all these other species, only the fittest would survive. And in case human evolution could have taken an entirely different course too. Natural selection would have likely favored genes that would make us smaller and faster to avoid being eaten and with the possibility that would be living among the other highly intelligent species like raptors. Our social structures might be completely different. Instead of being the most dominant species on planet, well, there is a strong chance we would have to compete with these dangerous predators if at any moment we could be raided by a pack of voicious T-Rexes. Would we ever have settled down in one place instead of human civilization evolving in great communities? Maybe we would only survive as solitary, nomadic, hunter-gatherers and evolution is just a mysterious puzzle that the only time knows how to answer. But uh, basically, there is no limit how different your world could be. But uh, just imagine if uh, an asteroid hits Earth tomorrow. Well, for such amazing videos, keep watching. Just imagine.